Yeah? You got something in there. Reports of the Chupacabra, a strange blood-sucking beast first appeared in Puerto Rico in 1995. This man says it was as tall as he was, with red eyes and four fangs. This woman says she found one on her Texas ranch, where it killed dozens of her chickens. But the Texas creature seen here on the right looked different. More like a canine than the strange being on the left seen in Puerto Rico. Possible it could be related to a dog or then possibly a hybrid of a coyote and a dog. Well, there may have been another chupacabra sighting not too far from here. That's the mysterious animal known for sucking the blood out of goats. It's amazing. Uh, we, we still don't know what it is. No hay forma de que haya sido un perro porque los perros no atacan como chupacabra. A dog don't do this kind of wounds. I believe in chupacabra because I saw the wounds. I saw the animals without blood. So while the evidence points to a dog or dog hybrid, those who have seen the monster they call the chupacabra believe it is something entirely new. And those who see monsters like this may in fact be witnessing an evolutionary jump to a new species of tomorrow. Deputy in training reacts to seeing what just may be a chupacabra. I've been patrolling back roads for a long time and I've never run across anything like this until that day. Last Friday, hours before sunset, Corporal Brandon Riedel and his partner were checking fence lines near Quero when they stumbled across the alleged creature of the night. We came around a corner and saw this uh, running down the road. Riedel says it's hairless with a long snout, short front legs, and long back legs. <laughs> it's just strange. Noticing the unique photo op, he turned on his squad car's dash cam. Oh, so I hit the record button and it was just, <laughs> this is what we got. What they got has the deputies and even Sheriff Jody Vasky back. It's amazing, uh, we, st we still don't know what it is. Some believe the thing that eventually disappeared into the brush could be the legendary goat sucker himself, the Chupacabra. Riedel says it's about the size of a coyote, but when he froze the video and saw its profile, but I knew it. He tells us it looks a lot like this creature found dead in Quero last year. It was first believed to be a chupacabra, but tests at Texas State showed it was some sort of coyote. The sheriff believes the beast caught on tape may be the same thing, but as Quero receives national attention and quickly becomes the chupacabra capital of the world, North America has Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Now the Baltimore area has the coyote. Neighbors say the mystery creature has been roaming Baltimore County for about a month now. One man hooked up motion detectors to a camera and caught the beast on videotape. Cats and dogs apparently aren't afraid of it, and even though no one knows what it is, people say it kind of looks like a cross between a hyena and a coyote, hence its name. It really does. It does. It's weird. Hyenas are kind of violent. Hizo las primeras acciones de la prensa Abelardo L. Rodríguez del Mocillo con un pescador quien entregó la rara especie a las autoridades policiales. No obstante que el animal se analizó por médicos veterinarios, las versiones son contradictorias. Por una parte se afirma que se trata de un simple gato, otros de un perro y unos más que son reales.
restos de un murciélago de grandes dimensiones. El animal que se encontró mide aproximadamente 50 centímetros y fue entregado a la policía del estado por un pescador, quien prefirió permanecer en anonimato. Sin embargo, relató a los agentes que vio volar al extraño animal por última ocasión antes de caer. Mencionó que los hechos ocurrieron en días pasados, pero es hasta ahora cuando decidió acercarse al lugar donde se encontraba el animal en estado de putrefacción. Cabe resaltar que las autoridades estatales, bajo el respaldo de sus veterinarios, manifestaron que se trata de un murciélago gigante y no del llamado chupacabras. in Coleman, which is just east of Abilene, says that he found the creature last week. The man set a trap after a number of his chickens and turkeys were killed. Now this is what he found in that trap, a mix between a hairless dog, a rat, and a kangaroo. Some say it's the chupacabra, the mystery animal, has now been sent to Texas Parks and Wildlife in hopes of determining exactly what it is.